So what this little box here does is it takes any media. And when we say any media, we do mean any media. And it records to all iPods and all iPhones. iPhone 3GS, 5G Nano, all iPods, all iPhones. All you do is you hook it up. Wait for the solid green light here. Video and audio. And you're ready to record. So now whatever your source is, is going to hear now. And at the same time, you can use your iPhone, you can make calls, you can use your apps, whatever it is you want to do. Whenever you're done, just press the record button. And it is very important that you wait for solid green again before disconnecting anything. Solid green. And... There we go. It's available right now. You can go to iRecord.com to look for a list of stores, both brick and mortar and online, or you can buy it directly from the site, iRecord.com, and the retail price is $259.99. So in case you weren't clear of exactly what was just going on there, the iRecord Pro has no hard drive, it has no flash memory, it's just a device to get the video in, encode it to H.264, and then store it on an external device, in this case, an iPhone. Now it's smart enough to know the file structure of the iPhone, and it's smart enough to know exactly where to store the QuickTime videos. So it's using your phone like an external hard drive. And once it's done with the process, you disconnect the phone, and the phone has to rebuild its media directory. Since the media came in through an external medium and not sync through iTunes, it doesn't necessarily have a catalog of that media, but it knows that something new is there. So as soon as you disconnect the phone, it rebuilds its own directory and then presents you with a list of the movies. Now, if you already have a ton of stuff on your phone, it does take a little while to rebuild the directory. There was a gentleman there that had a phone with lots of videos on it, and it took maybe a minute and a half for the, re for the directory to rebuild itself. But then we tested on a phone that had far fewer videos, just a few, uh, and it rebuilt itself almost instantly. Um, so that's just something to be aware of. Now, as far as why I included this product in the handheld Hollywood videos here is because I think it's a really useful tool for filmmakers. Um, my first thought was stick it on set under the video tap, and then everything that comes through the video tap can automatically be going to an, iP an iPod Touch. And then when you're done for the day, disconnect the iPod Touch, you walk away, and you already have all of your dailies in your hand. Um, it could be used at editing sessions, perhaps, to lay off quick cuts quickly without having to take the time to encode. Um, just have the, uh, the director just you know, pop his iPhone on, lay out the cut, and he can walk right out. Um, I'm sure there's other uses uh, for this. If you have any, I'd love to actually hear them. Go ahead and drop them down in the comments. Um, but that's the basic idea of what the product does. It seems pretty useful to me. Um, they said they're going to send me one after the show, so I'll get my hands on it, be able to test it out, and give you some more information about it. Specifically, I'm not sure if the media on the phone automatically syncs back to iTunes. I don't know how that works yet, but I'm, I'm anxious to find out. Uh, but until then, thanks for watching. This is Taz with Handheld Hollywood. We'll see you next time.